Hey guys, I'm getting ready for the live stream. We're going to start with um, within five minutes or so. So uh, I'm just going to get my camera and everything set up. Meantime, I'm just going to play you some background music, I guess. So uh, courtesy of Artlist. Let me just bring that up here. And let's see. So I hope you guys are fine and good today. Feeling good. I don't know what time is it for you guys. Uh, it is just about uh, 9 p.m. for me. So uh, I don't know. Let me know what time is it for you. So I'll try and get maybe a better timing. Steven, I know that you said that it's, it's, uh, it's not the best time for you. So I'm I'm cool. I mean, let me know. Maybe I can do some live streams in different hours. Right. Let's see. So we have some background music right here, and it's gonna be loud. Right, so Hey, Lion. We're just getting ready. Gonna get started in just a few. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Mexico. Never been there. Been in many places, but never been in Mexico. I guess... Uh, that's another place on the map that I need to check. Used to work with folks from uh, Guadalajara. Super friendly folks. Alright guys, so um, let me just get 
the camera and gonna get some stuff running here so everything's gonna be set and now I'm on I think yeah so um, what we're going to do today is I'm gonna get you up and running with Falcon 2 by UVI and I, I'm just gonna remind you guys that we have a giveaway um, so let me get that link for you and there's a video in my um, there's a video in my uh, in my website in my shop and also in my channel so uh, let me show you that so this is my new plugin shop uh, hey Michael so this is my new shop couple of things important here one it's my shop second we have this giveaway right here so you don't want to miss that and it's really super easy I already tested it so I, I can't really show you guys but it's very very simple you know the drill you put your name you put your email and you can promote that with whatever action like subscribing liking and all that stuff so uh, anyway that's uh, that's really uh, fun stuff that I'm planning for you and there's uh, something else um, if um, if you watch this video this giveaway video at the end of it there is a little something I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna throw in um, you know like an extra prize for people that actually comment so just watch that video here bum, and bum, bum, bum. Uh, you know appreciate if you can leave a comment and also of course uh, you, you're most welcome to to leave comments always or get in touch with me so yeah Michael uh, you got travelers I got news so I'm thinking we're gonna do um, we're gonna do another live uh, sorry we're gonna do another giveaway for travelers <laughs> so I'm thinking that's what's gonna be so we're gonna finish with this one with this Falcon one and then I'm gonna do another giveaway how about that so the the awesome people I mean amazing people of UVI were so kind and supportive and they uh, um, they're just you know there's just I, I don't have any words they're just amazing folks and so let's get started and I'm gonna show you what's inside what exactly is uh, Falcon and also we're gonna just explore one or two uh, maybe more instruments that can run on top of Falcon so there are a couple of things that you can do with Falcon you can create your own instruments you can create your own stuff and you can use this as a sampler as an um, whatever instrument as a, maybe as a also synthesizer whatever or as the host for anything else I mean all the sound banks by UVI so that, that's like in a nutshell but it's it's really more than that it's it's like a platform so before we dive into that let me show you quickly a few of the presets that you can find in Quadra and this is actually the third release that they have in this series so they have let me find that so we have Quadra this one let me put that here um, I'm just gonna grab this one here and that that is the um, metal and wood and they also released the um, muted and harmonics so that's also kind of thing so you can already see that what, what I'm hey David thanks David Iglesias thanks for joining so we are exploring Falcon so you already can see something very interesting here I can add more and more parts and they all will play together all I need to do is just set the input the uh, the MIDI input here so I'm gonna go with Omni just go Omni on all of those and and now let's play so it's gonna be loud all 
right so let's go back to our uh, uh, quadra traveler this is the last one that they just released uh, i think this week or maybe last week anyway we have four instruments and you can see that for each one you have the same controls you have the sound and you have choices of sounds right strings whatever all these sounds and then you also have the uh, different arpeggiators here and right now it's set to init um, arpeggiator and there is also a phraser so now what's that all about if you really want to get the power of quadra you go into the actual instruments the a b c and d so i'm gonna go in a hey chris thanks for joining so we're just exploring falcon i'm just showing the quadra traveler so you can see we have two tabs we have the sound tab we have the arp tab so in the sound tab you have the adsr envelope to control how sound evolves over time i it's a good question if they are CPU intensive, but I'm not able to really measure that. I'm gonna try and look. I mean, not not too much. You can see that I've loaded four dif uh, three different instruments here, and the CPU is now one percent. I can just play something. <laughs> I don't know if it, that that's much or not. It's it's probably uh, not insignificant, I would say. So, and I have my 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 desktop. My desktop is the um, i nine latest latest model. I mean, um, twelve uh, four hundred. I, I, don't remember exactly. And I have uh, sixty four gigabytes of RAM. I have very uh, I mean, very powerful system. So, I don't know. I, I don't think it's it's anything um, very heavy, but it's not light. So anyway, we have the amplitude here. Then we have a filter, and there's an ADSR on the filter here. Now, again, I don't know if you guys uh, know what's the meaning of having an ADSR envelope coupled connected to your filter but th that actually controls how the filter can open and close or you know change its uh, frequency so that's maybe a topic for a different uh, different live stream and i have a few few examples i mean few videos that actually cover that um, so uh, that that's uh, that's really a concept that you should be uh, aware, uh, learn the, that, learn how to use envelopes, and and again, let me know maybe in the comments here if you guys want to see like a live stream just to talk about the basics of sound design and filters, oscillators, envelopes, LFOs, things like that. I'd be super happy to do that. Anyway, so, and then we have pitch and voicing, and then we have some other stuff like expressions, like tremolo, vibrato, things like that. And we can actually connect that to our wheel. To our wheel, it means mod wheel. And you can see that little uh, something at the bottom. You'll see that you, you have a tooltip on the bottom. So that, that's the sound. But if you go into the arpeggiator, you'll see again that we have a, like, um, just a menu of different arpeggi I mean different sequences and stuff that you can do and there are two modes there's the arpeggiator which will take a chord and arpeggiate it and then we have a phraser which is more of a melodic uh, sequence and then we also have the Euclidean emphasis here which is really uh, something else but what I'm gonna do Yeah, let, I'm just reading. Yeah, so definitely let, let's do a live stream. Uh, let's do a live stream talking about some basic sound design stuff and how to uh, how to create sounds. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to remove this one. I don't need it. And 
let me just remove all these guys so if you add more and more parts right here then you can just remove them right click and delete part and again this one and we'll get into them a little bit later right so I'm gonna go back into the the basics here okay so I'm I'm left with yeah let, let's remove everything so I'm gonna clear the multi and I'm gonna go with the traveler which is this one I'm gonna go with cloud and let's let's get this one just I'm gonna double click and let's have a listen So let me show you what, what what's going on here. I'm going to go and solo the first instrument. All right? So it's like a, a acoustic bass guitar. So I I can go into part A, change the sound. This is a Brazil bass. No, I want something else. Let's go with strings and get like a coto picked. All right? And and then we all, I mean, that's, that's the sound here. We also have some presets. I'm not going to mess with that. So that's the sound. But if I go into the arpeggiator, I have tons of stuff that I can use. Right, you get the idea, right? And I, I, let's try another one. Let's go with chords. Right? Things like that. And if I'm not happy with the sound, I can go back to the sound itself. Go get me, a, let's say, a keyboard, piano. So there are other things that, that actually make the sound. You can hear that the sound is, is still very, very much the same because we have this filter here. And we also have the octaves. You can see that the octave is minus one. And then we have tremolo and drive. I can remove those. And we can remove the EQ just to get things very clean. Right, and I'll go into the arpeggiator. And again, I can go and find something like a bass line. And so now let's go back and release this solo. So that, that is the Traveler and a few other things that are very, very important here is, first of all, we have for each of the instruments, we actually have key range. So you can have one of those just for a certain area of your keyboard. Like right now, you can see that all of them go from, not all of them, but um, yeah, let me see. Yeah, all of them go from C minus two to G eight. And so I can restrict that. I can go and just remove that and say, you, you will be just up to here. And this this one also. So I, I can just restrict that, something like this, and continue, and this one, something like this. And then this little, uh, this piccolo, you can see that it's not arpeggiated. So it's actually playing, it's actually playing um, melodic, not arpeggiated. So it's very, very washed with many things here, but you get the idea. So anyway, let's now um, just clear everything because we are here to get the basics behind Falcon. And obviously you can load any of the sound banks and everything else. You can load, and I'm, I'm gonna show you more more instruments in a moment, but before we we, we go and explore those sounds and everything, let me just clear everything and i'll give you like uh, the 101 what exact what, what's going on here so let's break it let's break it down right so first of all we have a 
a thing, a structure that they call, UVI call that a multi. And a multi is a host of parts. And you can run different parts. And each part is really a complete sound, a complete universe of sound. And then you can create more and more sounds. But we will start with one. I'm going to start with something simple, just one part. So you can see these are my parts and I have an empty part. So what can I do with that? So I'm going into edit and now things will look a little bit complex. But again, I'm going to break it down to you. So everything starts from the bottom up. So first we need something to make sound. We need something like an oscillator or a sampler that will create the sound. And whatever we select, we need to also make sure that it is connected to the keyboard because we want the keys, we want the MIDI to, to do something. Right? So now, where are the oscillators? Where is the sound? I can see the keyboard. I can see some, some complex things that are going on right here. But wait a minute. So I'm going into our sound sources. And you can see that we have two categories on the top left, uh, top right. So we have sample and we have synthesis. I'm going to just open it up. And you'll see that you have a whole host of things that can be a sampler or a synthesizer. I will start with a synthesizer. And once you get that idea, you'll be able to also get the idea behind the sampler. So we can go and select a wavetable. I'm going to go with something like a wavetable. And I'm going to drag it to the keyboard right here. And what are you seeing here? Let me just drop it right here. What it means is that we have a key group, and that key group goes uh, one octave right now, one, one octave. And if I play anything uh, uh, just out of that range, there, there's no sound. So uh, what I, I can do is I can add more more generators, more sound sources, like, uh, I don't know, analog, analog uh, stack, Celeste, chord. I don't know. Let's take that one. And I can just drop it right here, right? And I can just do things li like this. So this is, I'm, I'm showing you a little bit advanced, something that is a little bit advanced, because now we have a split keyboard. Some of the keys will use key group two and some of the keys will use key group one. And if when when you play anything on key group two, that's gonna be the analog stock. When you play anything on key group one, that's gonna be the wavetable. Now you can see this is a really simple wavetable. I'm gonna uh, make it a, a little bit more complex. And you can see that we have tons of things that you can do here. And this is a complete synthesizer. So if that's not blowing your mind, I don't know what is. I mean, you can just stack more and more wavetable synthesizers, one of, on top of the other, or maybe one beside the other. And that's, that, that's the power. So again, clicking on key group one, I see now the wavetable synthesizer. I'll click the key group two, I'll see the analog stack. <laughs> So it's pretty dry and we are going to add more effects in a moment. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you something real quick. We have three different views on the left side here. We have parts and we only have one part. I can right click here or dou double click inside here. I, I can see some stuff. I'm going to just close this. Um, I can um, rename this. I really want to rename it. And I can't really remember how to do that. That's really embarrassing. But I'm going to find it. Uh, there should be an option to rename the um, to rename the part or the program. So this is a program. So wh what does it mean that it's a program? Let me show you the tree view here, right here. 
So now it's going to be much more clear. You can see that we have a part. The part is the host where a program runs. And so the program is everything that you see in the middle here. That's the program. That's the sound. That's the preset. That's the thing that we are saving. That's the wh when I go here uh, into whatever, then these are programs and they can run inside a part. So again, I apologize that I'm maybe confusing you, but again, this is not a simple. This is not a really a simple uh, platform. It's like learning, I don't know, contact or anything like that. But I'm going to get you there. So now you can see that we have the part. There's a program right here. And I can, I should be able to just rename it. But um, it just slipped my mind. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't re recall how to do that. So I'm going to, I'm going to just, have to read the user manual. Anyway, that's uh, I, I think I need to just save it. So I'm going to save program as and we will call it Udi Audio. I'm going to save it. And now it has a name. Yeah, maybe that's the way to do it. Uh, silly me. <laughs> so anyway, we have we have a program and that's the preset that that's what it, wh what it is and I have two key groups and you can see the ranges you can see C minus two to B three and the other one is going from uh, um, a different uh, set it starts C four and it ends uh, G eight right so that's uh, that's the kind of thing that we have. So I'm going to just remove key group 2 because it's going to just confuse us. I'm going to just remove the node. And now I only have one key group. I'm going to stretch it across the keyboard. And so what we have right now is a wavetable synthesizer with whatever um, wavetable. And there's an index. Right? Things like that. And that is our key group. If I'll, I'll just look here at this area here, I, I consider I have a key group. That's the key group, and it hosts only uh, one oscillator. I can add more. So I, I can actually stack them together, and I'll show you that later. But what I can do is, and you can see the mode here, it has modulators. You can see that there's an amp envelope now if you know anything about synthesis or uh, you know synthesizers you know that this is the amplifier envelope that will control how the sound is evolving over time so i can have a longer release right and obviously there's tons of stuff that we can do here in uh, in this synthesizer there's an fm and there's a ratio here i can play with that so there's a lot of things to learn obviously and there's number of voices and mode gonna go stereo But what I want to show you guys is that we can go, we can go and add at the layer. So th there's another level of uh, complexity, and there's layers. And at that layer level, I can add things that are events, or even uh, things that are uh, effects. I have the same also in the key group, so you can see that effects right here. I can add plus and get um, an effect. So let's see what kind of effects we can get. And some of the effects, like the delay, is uh, just uh, uh, not available at that level. But I can get the reverb, and there's the diffusion reverb. <laughs> But there are other things that I can do. I can do that at the layer level. So we have layer one. 
And fact is, I can add more layers. I can right click and add a layer. And now this layer is completely empty. So just imagine that you're building a complete sound set with a, um, whatever synthesizer. And I, I can get another one here, like uh, a plug synth synthesizer, plug harmonics, fifth, and drag it right here and get that stretched. And now I have, let me show you that, I have two layers and in each one I have a key group that ranges across the keyboard and in each one I have a different sound source. In key group one I have a wavetable, in key group one in layer two I have a plug synthesizer. And they, they will play together. And I can actually solo, it's very quiet, I don't know why. And I can actually remove it and replace it with something else. I can go and find some other source uh, sound. Let's get this one. It's quiet. It's very, very quiet. Anyway, let's unmute it. And now what I can do is I can go at the layer level or at the program le level up here and add more, um, just more effects. So it's really a complex structure. So I really hope that that makes sense for you. And I can add, for example, the dual delay. Hey, Malik Amar. Right, so we have the dual delay at that level. So now let me show you a few things that we can do. Um, what I can do is I can go back to our key group here and I can do some modulations. So if you know things that are going on in, in synthesizers is that we can go and automate uh, the wave index. So I can right click here and add modulation. And I can add that modulation at the key group, at the layer, at the program. So again, we have key group, we have the layer, and then we have the program. Now I explain all of that with uh, very simple examples in my channel. So there's a link in the giveaway page and so uh, you can find, I mean, I have four lessons that will take you through all of that. So I can uh, just get a new LFO. And now we have a new LFO that is actually controlling the index. And now you can see that it is just m constantly moving as I play. And we have this LFO right here. And I can actually find it also in other places. So here it is. This is our uh, LFO. And I can change uh, the, the wave shape. Right, so things like that. So now let's let's see something else. So I'm gonna just remove this wavetable 
and I can get something uh, different. What we can do is let's remove everything. I'm just going to go clear the multi. Everything is uh, just uh, empty. There's nothing. And I'm going to try and use the sampler. So we have a granular sampler. We have just a simple sampler. Let's start with a simple sampler. So I can just drag that one um, on top here. I can put it here and then load samples. That's one option. You can see no sample, drag and drop sample here, but that's, uh, that's one way to do it. Another way to do that, let me close that and let's remove this uh, key group. I'm just going to remove the key group, delete selected key group. And what we can do is I can find some sounds and I wish I didn't click that uh, search. Let's uh, cancel. Hopefully I'm not just... Okay, so I'm gonna go with World Suite 2. I don't know if you know World Suite 2, but this is an amazing package of instruments from all around the world. So, um, we have vocals, we have by region. Let's go with Africa. And I'm gonna drag this one here. So you can see if you have if you have any any sounds, if you have any samples, you can just browse, find them, drag and drop them anywhere. And I'm gonna just drag ju just drag that right here. And you can create your own sampled instrument. So, for example, if you sampled your whatever, I don't know, piano, uh, and you have different velocity levels, so you can have something like this, like different velocity levels. They can overlap maybe. So now we have something like this. So it really depends how hard you hit the keyboard or what velocity or what MIDI velocity you're, you're using and that will trigger either the lower or the upper uh, section here, uh, samples. So, but I can just drag that. Right, and we can remove it if we don't want to. Let's try and find something else. Asia, India. Let's go with Middle East. And you can audition. Very nice. Right, you get the idea. And of course, there's a lot of things that you can do. You can trim things. And let's add some effects. So what I can do here at the, in any level here, I can go and add like a drive. Yeah. And let's set the modulation, uh, the, the envelope here. I have the envelope. Yeah. 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 Right. And I can add more effects like reverb, diffusion, or maybe change that to something else. So I can just remove that and get like the spark reverb and shimmer and Right, things like that. So you can create your own uh, instrument based on samples. And uh, that's really easy. Really, really easy. And again, if you're not, not happy with that, remove that. And we can go back to uh, and try something else. And we can go and use the granular. So I can just drag that and just put it right here. 
and it will tell me that I need to uh, get some let me just close this one I need to drag and drop some sounds here so let, let's try and find some sounds and maybe I'll find something interesting uh, the problem is that let me try and get something interesting um, yeah so I'm gonna go with samples and I'm gonna try that one so we have something I don't really like that one Let, let's try another one All right so now we have something All right, and if th this is too much And so this is a granular synthesizer, uh, sorry, granular sampler. And let's see what's inside. You can see that we have the size of the grains, density, the jitter. Right, things like that. So anyway, that that's really cool stuff. Let me show you what happens when you open up any of the uh, UVI sound banks and uh, how that looks like. So you can go into the sound banks and let me show you how the Quadra actually looks like. Or maybe we'll, we'll try something else. Okay, let's go with the Quadra. And we have picked motion. Um, let's take this one. So it's going to load. And so this is the user interface. And by the way, you can create your own user interface, simplified user interface with, uh, with Falcon. So if you go into the tree view here, you can actually see this is something you can't really see with the free UVI workstation. So you can actually see how things are set. You can go into the edit mode here and you can see everything that is inside. You can change things. So th that's the kind of things that you can do with Falcon. But let me show you some more stuff. So let's go into the default. I mean, not default, the, the factory, the factory uh, presets. And I'm just going to go and select something interesting here, like uh, bells. Let's try this one. So, so what we can do here this is just a simple sound right and what I can do in Falcon is I can go and add effects for example I can get the dual uh, delay effect here right and so you have a preset but you can you can do whatever you want with that I mean I can go and get the spark reverb plate big plate things like that and I can go also into events so uh, the events are very very interesting so we have arpeggiator okay I, I 
the audio engineer. <laughs> thanks for thanks for joining. So let, let me get it straight. You want me to um, to get a, a, a selection of instruments from world from the world suite um, just to play together. That that could be interesting. Let let's do that in a moment. I if I if I got re, if I got you right. So what I wanted to show you guys is if you go into the event, you can select arpeggiator and there's an uh, like all kinds of uh, different settings or presets. And there's other presets. Let's do this one. Things like that. So it's really easy. You add the event and we have different arpeggiators but we also have some other stuff like harmonization and we have the performance here let me try and find something really really cool so we have the euclidean key sequencer and unfortunately i didn't really prepare that so i don't really remember how to use it i need to get my shit together so uh so there's uh, different velocities and accent velocities which I need to uh, to set. But let's try another one. Physics. Oh, okay. Well, you mean you mean to open up the traveler? Without the four quad patches together, as I think I would use. You mean to use them as stacked just together? Anyway, I, I'm, I'm going to get there in a moment. So uh, um, other processors that we have, let's see. Um, let's see what else we have. We have sequencing and we have Euclidean gate. A polyphonic sequencer. So there are a lot of scripts that you can uh, can just use right off the bat here. Very very easy script processor, and just just endless endless amount of stuff that you can do, even chord recognition and things like that. So uh, harmonizers, we have coder. Right. And so that that's really cool. Let me show you some of the factory presets that are really, really nice. So we have this one. And what we can do is we can have uh, all of them play together. So I can have this one right here, set the MIDI. And I can get this one as well and just set it to Omni. Right, so let's sum up what we've got here. I'm going to go into the edit. So we have, we have the parts. We can add more and more parts. And by the way, if I like this setup, I mean, I want to have all of them together. I can mix them, just change here uh, the, the volume. I can save that. Just go and save this as multi. Right, and now it, it, it will be saved as a whole. And then we can have the different 
key groups and programs, layers, and everything together with effects and script processors. So it's really uh, a lot of power. You can create your own instruments and set them into the user interface. As you can see, I'll, I'll show you something maybe. You see the wave uh, index. So I can right click and I can add modulation and I think you can just go add modulation and there should be an option to set this to the user interface which uh, I need to uh, to be reminded where it is because I'm missing okay add a new macro and now let's go here and you can see this macro right here Right, so I can create my own user interface and I can actually go inside right here and replace that, put that right here, uh, call that index, go back, right, and can go into edit and maybe if I want to set, uh, set some, some filtering somewhere, I can have like effect filter analog filter right click on the on the cutoff add modulation go and maybe set that let me see let me see where assign to macro add new macro and let's go here and this is our new macro Right, so I can I can use that. So that that is the power here. So let's go now. Uh, th there was a request here from uh, the audio engineer to see what's up with Quadra. I'm gonna just uh, clear everything. Um, let's do this one, and let me try and understand exactly what what you mean. So first of all, you can use them as individual instruments i hope this is what you you mean and you can see that right here on the bottom you can see that we have specific instruments okay so let's uh, let's see that one i don't know if that's exactly what you're looking for but i'm going to show you stuff so this is Right, so you have individual instruments here, but not only that, you can actually, you don't have to use all of that, you don't. You can just solo whatever, L let's solo only um, just layer A, and I can go with the init release long here. Right, and then I can change that uh, wind flute. Right, so you can you can definitely use this as individual. Uh, exactly that so you, you don't have to use everything that you see here just use whatever works for you you don't have to use this as a sequencer of different parts mm. right and if you do want to have this with arpeggiator fine mm. and we can just change that and we can change the sound Instead of uh, uh, a flute, we can go with metal and wood. Right, I'm playing a, a C minor chord right now. So, and, and this is the arpeggiator. You can see the pitch, right? Minus two right here. And you can set chords as played.
right? And you can create those sequences. Really easy. And if you don't know how to do that, just try and use the basic, just baseline, for example, and you, you'll get it. And so let's try another one. Let's go with, uh, let's go with something interesting, hand pen. Cool. So th this is how how you can use this individually. And, and by the way, there there are a lot of uh, UVI. Uh, a, lo a lot of the UVI instruments are combined, but you can still use them uh, individually. So, for example, I'll show you something like Super Seven. Let's let's see Super Seven, which is really. Um, let me let me try this one. So. You, you have several things going on here. You have the rhythm, you have the bass, you have the melody and synth. And if we go into the rhythm, you'll see that we have the different presets and the pattern and, and rhythm selections. But you can also solo, for example, the bass. And you can go inside and again you can see the same concept that we have the sound and we we also have the arpeggiator so th that repeats itself hey jason thanks for joining oh guys by by the way um it it really reminds me <laughs> hey jason how are you doing i uh, Cool. So uh, I just wanted to again remind you guys that we have this giveaway for Falcon and I am going to run another giveaway and I'm going to I'm going to do a video uh, about this later um, this week. Uh, we're we're going to do a giveaway on um, on travelers. So but if you already own that I, I can try and ask UVI if, uh, and if you win, I can ask UVI to replace that with something else. But um, other than that, make sure to, uh, to find the video about the giveaway and uh, let me know, of course, uh, if you have any questions or anything, just comment below the video. And uh, it's a good time to also promote two things. One, uh, you can always, if, if you find any of my six or seven hundred videos helpful and you feel like very, very generous and you think I should get something for that, that's uh, totally fine by me. And you can click that thanks. So it's a new feature by, uh, by YouTube. So you can say thanks. Of course, in the live streams, you also have the ability to tip if you like it. And also you can join the uh, channel membership. So below any of the videos, there should be an option to join the uh, channel membership and you will get a free plugin uh, from time to time. And that reminds me, um, Jason, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set a new free plugin for the members. Hey, the sampleist. And so that's a great way to support the channel. What do I do with all that tons of money? I, uh, I invested back in uh, learning, in plugins, invest in my own time, and I'm helping people. So uh, if you are a member and you need anything, you want me to sit down with you, show you stuff, teach you whatever I, I can, I'll do that. We can set a, a call uh, every month or so, even uh, more than that. Hey, Jason. <laughs> Yeah, you've been uh, a channel member for 24 months now. Uh, that That is amazing. And on, I mean, I appreciate your support so much, so much. So um, just uh, um, expect an, fr another free plugin very, very soon. Um, and uh, yeah, that that's just amazing. I mean... 
the, the journey that this channel have done and I'm looking forward to this year and, and, and getting more and more stuff for you. And I already have some, uh, some plans uh, for, for this year. More giveaways, more free stuff, more uh, live streams, more one-on-one -on -one sessions. So that's, uh, that's really amazing. Anyway, uh, my shop, my audio studio, that's, uh, that's plugin shop. That's a legit plugin shop. I work with all these companies as a reseller, just like any other of those uh, big, uh, big plugin marketplaces. So I'm doing just the same. And as you can see, by the way, there's a Cherry Audio Galactic Reverb for just $9. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's all started uh, with pigments, and I love pigments, and we should do more more videos on pigments for sure. They, they also came a long way, right? Uh, they started very, uh, very good. I mean, they started high and just kept on going yeah pigments is is totally insane also but it's not the same as it's not the same as falcon because here in falcon you can create full-fledged um, instruments of your own and even create your own user interface and scripts and if you know and if you know uh, a little bit of uh, scripting that's that's uh, insane power so uh, that that's definitely one of my favorite platforms I call that a platform because it's not just a plugin it's it's a complete platform as I show you you have a lot of engines that you can just use in so many ways. So that, that's really amazing stuff. So now, before we end this uh, video, let me show you more Quadra. So they, uh, they also have the other types. I mean, we have uh, metal and wood and we have muted and uh, harmonics. So we can try some more. And let's see world motion let's try this one and we can try another one from electronic Okay, the, the audio and engineer asking, can we win Traveler if we already have Falcon 2? So I think first thing first, first of all, we'll, I, I'll select, I mean, it's not me selecting the, the, the giveaway system, we'll select a winner. And if that winner already uh, owns uh, something, I usually go back to the companies and try to get something in exchange. I mean, just exchange the price, the, the price. So don't worry about that. Um, which, Jason? Which which expansions in particular? Do you, can can you can you put a link? <laughs> You, you mean the expansions in the... You mean the expansions in, the, in their website? So, uh, yeah, I haven't tried, I haven't tried much uh, of, the, of the expansions. This is just endless, endless uh, uh, playground. So we have product, soundware, and we, we should have the Falcon expansions right here. Right? So, yeah. So guys, if there's anything specific by 
uh, by uh, UVI. You guys want me to do a live stream or uh, or cover in a video? Just let me know. Um, I'll try and do that. Inner dimensions, this one, right? So uh, yeah, I, I I don't have it. Maybe I'll, I'll check it out. Here you go, another <laughs> another plugin for me to check. Uh, Pulsar. Right, so uh, w when you get those expansions, what you really get is more presets. You get more presets uh, to, to use and uh, just, I mean, it's endless. Um, I mean, it, it's an addiction. Right, so there are so many things, so many things here. Let's see what else we have. Falcon Factory. And by the way, they just released a few, a uh, couple of months ago, they released uh, 2.8, and that features their uh, uh, sort of organic textures and, and things. So th there's a question here from uh, Bandy. Um, any chance of tutorial on uh, harmonic bohemian violin and harmonic? Uh, no, I is that is that by UVI? I don't think so. Right, I I am not familiar. Let me just check that. Let's check that. Um, yeah. Right, this one. No, I, I can, uh, I can, I can try and talk with these guys, but I, I have too much on, on me right now. It's, it's just, uh, way too much work right now. I, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to do for sound iron. So uh, that's going to go first. So by the way, uh, if you guys, if you guys want a discount or anything related to sound iron, let me know. So I'm going to do a bunch of, uh, of reviews on these instruments. And you are welcome. If uh, I mean, if uh, if there's anything interesting here for you, just let me know. I'll see if I can get you a bit of a discount. Um, yes, it's my shop, uh, but I actually, I mean, the way it works. By the way, you may not know that is that I the system is built such that I buy the products and I get a little bit of a margin here not very uh, not not a lot so whatever discount I give you guys is just uh, of my profit before taxes and everything so but whatever I can do I'll do um, so again that's my shop my audio studio and uh, yeah what else so uh, that is by the way, again, we can go into the edit mode here and you can see the all the parts that, that are running here, everything that is making that sound. So we have part one, we have an arpeggiator, we have two layers in, and we have key groups, we have wavetable here, we have analog stack, we have v VCF, I mean, that's an effect, the, the VCF and so on so and, and here is the texture this is the new texture synthesizer so by the way let's try and just clear everything let's let's clear everything go back here and i'll go synthesizer texture 
and we can try rain 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 tape yeah okay so i'm gonna just go and yeah okay so we have So Ste Stephen that that's that's a wonderful that's a wonderful topic for a video. You know what? I uh, I might do that revealing some of the industry secrets. I wish okay, first of all I'm not making a living. I'm not not able to make a living off my YouTube and online uh, marketing stuff yet. It is enough for me to sustain whatever you see. All the time that I invest in the reviews it is buying me equipment, cameras, and things. So it sustains the the the, the investments that I put in. Um, I can definitely list uh, some, I mean, all the, all the sources, all the income sources that I have um, up to a degree. So... Okay, so about reselling, about reselling plugins, how can I make any money off that? That that's a good good question. Um, well, it's it's really simple. It's like everything else in retail. You, as a reseller, you buy the plugin at the reseller price and you sell it at the market or street price right so there's a margin let's say the margin can be 25 percent can be 30 percent maybe more than that depends on the depends on the company and uh, i mean it just varies whatever and then there are some expenses of course you have to uh, you, you have to take into account the expenses of uh, all uh, marketing that I need to do, the website that I need to build, hosting, uh, domain name, and all of that. But I, I can also sell the plugins directly. Like if you if you contact me directly and say, hey, Udi, can you sell me whatever plugin, I don't know, Slate Digital, uh, whatever, um, Fab Filter, Sound Iron, you just, I mean, you pay me in PayPal, I generate the license and sell it to you. So I get the margin. Um, that's that's how it works. There, there are other ways to make money online. Um, obviously the o obviously the 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 YouTube channel and you know I I have almost seven thousand uh, subscribers. And the watch time that I have is varying between um, 1,000 and, I mean, 1,500 to, to uh, 2,000 hours of watch time. And that is not enough to sustain real income. I mean, it, it's, it's enough for a coffee and donut a day. Um, and again, maybe maybe I should do maybe I should do a, a video or a live stream to list all these income sources. And there there are other income sources, by the way, for me at least. Affiliate marketing, for sure. I've done a lot of money with affiliate marketing. Um, there's a sponsored sponsored uh, work that I've done some uh, some reviews and tutorials that I've done for uh, for money uh, sound design work I've done I've done uh, sound design work for artlist um, so 
what you need to do, at least in my position, with, with uh, not too many subscribers and not too many followers, I'm still very, very small, I need to, uh, to invest a lot of time in this and, uh, and, and do a lot of work in, in various dimensions. Um, so I have to say, you can make some money. I, I'm not able to sustain my family with this. No, not in a, I mean, I'm very far from that, uh, but I, I love it. So I, I'm, I'm so fortunate to have the time and to have the connections and abilities to do that. So one of the secrets that I'm definitely not going to reveal is all my connections in the industry, all the companies that I work with and my connections and my and, and this is key. Um, other than that, I have uh, a very large Facebook group which started everything. So uh, not many people know that. I uh, I just joined as a, I just joined as a, as a partner to one of my country's largest uh, active um, group, and that that gave me a lot of power. Yeah. So again, I'm I'm not worried. I'm n I'm not too worried about people going um, in competition because uh, one of the things that I I've I, I know for the past three years that this is a lot of work, and obviously, if you if you go and start from scratch today, um, that that's going to be a lot of work, but. You never know. You never know what what's gonna be what's gonna be a good content. I I need to improve a lot. That's not my. Uh, it's not easy for me, by the way, because I don't speak. I mean, English is not my uh, first language, and you know, I need to translate everything in my mind. And when I shoot these videos, sometimes I would do like hundreds of takes. I I will get things messed up, and it's it's not easy for me but maybe for some folks um, it's easier also I'm, I'm not I'm not a very good entertainer so uh, you know all some some of the big some of the big uh, channels out there uh, that, that will entertain you um, and give uh, give you some some quality information but also some entertainment and uh, I, I envy those guys that can, can do that and can, uh, can be interesting and funny. Um, other than that, guys, you know, maybe I'll do that. And Stephen, if, you, if you're interested, you, we can jump on a call. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I speak, I, I speak English all the time. My day job requires me to speak English uh, and, and write and read. So I, I've done that for the past 30 years uh, plus. So uh, I'm, ge I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Um, so guys, it's, it's been a lot of fun. So let's do this. If if you're watching this and you did not see my um, my give my giveaway video, go watch it now because we have a giveaway UVI Falcon giveaway. It's right here, so you you should be going into this one, right? And that's really really uh, gonna be fun. And I'm gonna get another. Give away, give away right after, and and we'll do more. Maybe the next next thing is gonna be something from UGEM. And by the way, again, I'm I'm a reseller for UGEM. So if there's anything UGEM that you guys want, uh, just let me know, and I'll get you some discounts. And there's tons of stuff that we need to still 
cover with uh, UGEM, which I love. One of the best companies uh, in my mind doing very creative stuff. So, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I, I hope that was uh, kind of helpful. It was uh, all over the place, I know, but that, that's how... That's how live streams are sometimes. So we get questions and things. So this is the texture. It's very interesting. Maybe there's something interesting in breath. Wind. So these are just textures. Nice stuff. Anyway, so if you guys have any questions or uh, wondering about anything and you need some help don't hesitate uh, try and catch me try and catch me in uh, Facebook I, I, I try to be very uh, very available as much as I can and uh, also uh, you can get me in, in Discord of course I, I, I'm trying to to build stuff in Discord but it's uh, it's going very slow and and again if uh if you if you have any preferences for the next live stream again let me know and there's the community tab right here so if you're bored you have nothing to do thank you robert if you have nothing else to do you're totally bored um you can go into the community tab where I post stuff all the time and you can comment there <laughs> and, uh, and uh, let's let's do this what else should we cover in the channel all right so we have a post what else should we cover in the channel guys just an open question and here you can definitely just uh, just write whatever comes to mind and I'll, I'll see if I can do that so it all depends on my uh, my free time which which is not a lot I try to upload one or two videos every week so again I would like to say big big thank you to all of you guys tuning in in this uh, live stream and I'll do more live stream maybe on uh, on Wednesday same time Wednesday I'm going to do another live stream if not then it's going to be next week I don't know we'll see and again take care and uh, I'll see you soon bye bye Thanks, Jason. And I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking the Cherry Audio Galactic Reverb is gonna be our free membership plugin. I don't know. We'll see. What do you say? It's really an amazing one. It's very, very creative. Let's see how that sounds let's let's try the galactic you know what guys i'm going to try something here so we have leads all right and i'm going to throw let's put that one here Galactic Reverb.
Yeah, just just messing around with this. Yeah, I I I really love I really love reverbs. And I can't get enough of those. So let let's try this one. Let's try. Let's try something. Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to try something here with contact. I don't know why it's so slow. Okay, we're going to close this one. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to try something here. So we have the Stradivari and the Galactic Reverb. can try the stray, stray light <laughs> I'm just messing around guys if uh, if you if you just joined that's the end of the live stream I'm just too tired to do anything intelligent I'm just messing messing around with some instruments so uh, yeah I should have closed that one and this one Right, that that's totally true. That's totally true. So we can have raise the line. I I I have done I've done uh, giveaways on baby baby audio crystalline before. Maybe we'll do again. can also try the ample ample sound let's try the ample sound flute with uh, with the galactic reverb this is going to be interesting so again remind you guys this is just nine dollars in my shop yeah let's see how that works yeah, still loading because it's on my SATA drive and not my SSD. Um, that's how it goes. And it's set to key, the key is G. Okay.
Well, it is galactic. Let's try and get that to the maximum. So just do that. Very, very nice though. That, that is the ample sound. Dongjio. Dongjio. I hope I pronounce, pronounce it correctly. That's the Dongjio. try let's try something else so i can try maybe the guitars maybe the guitars yeah so we have the this one so this one really sounds good so it's gonna take it's gonna take a, a few seconds to load again because it's not on my best drive i got like an old SATA drive for the, you know, samples and stuff. All right, and we can get galactic. Secret. It's going good. It's going good. Secret. So we're just ending this. This is just slacking. I uh, I actually have to go and uh, end this uh, this stream. just messing around here with the galactic uh, reverb which I'm trying to uh, sell you guys this is super cool super cool reverb so uh, software update is available yeah i'm gonna do that later so well, that's that and yeah okay so i'm gonna close all these guys we've got falcon and if there's anything else you guys want to see uh that i got just let me know so i got all these sound banks here And yeah, let, let's see what, what, something interesting. What do we have that is super interesting? Maybe the soul bass, we've done that. We have string machine. String machine is really good.
So I got my UVI stuff on the SSD, so it runs very fast. <laughs> Maybe we'll we'll try more stuff from the travelers. Iceberg. Monkey Town. Yeah, now I see that the flute here is muted, so let's open it up. And we can change that. Instead of this wonky flute, that can be maybe a string, I don't know, maybe violin. So you can see that the, this oc it's it's way too high so I'm going to lower the octaves Right it's it's cool but it's not that cool so I can change that to maybe chords Yeah I'm I'm going to check it for sure I'm going to I'm I'm going to try and get into that I, I just I mean there's so many things that I have in line waiting in line for reviews and stuff so it just um, it's just endless you know and uh, I need to uh, to be uh, very mindful where I you know where I invest my time so as as we had the discussion earlier I still need to make a living from something and so that's uh, that's really how it goes. Yeah, let's try this one. But Jason, if there's any 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 particular expansion you think you don't have and you want me to check, maybe I can uh, get a demo of that or something and I can show you guys. That's that's cool. That's cool. So maybe you you should show me that. Hey Davi, thanks for joining. We're actually j I'm I'm just ending this. I don't know. I'm just uh, what time is it? Yeah, it's getting late, guys. I need to get up early tomorrow to go to my day job and uh and do some real work, not just playing around with some instruments. I right, so I, I just love Quadra. The, the concept is really, really great where you have all these instruments just play together.
right guys so i think i'm done if you guys want to continue your uh, friendship uh, outside the live stream you're super most welcome to join any of my uh, my groups in facebook and the groups uh, you, you can find them in uh, in the description of uh, of any of my videos but also you can definitely go into the discord okay so this is one of the groups you should uh, you should join and you can continue the discussion there with friends friends and family and let me just close this one here gonna hang out and there's the plugin academy server which you can join right so definitely uh also by the way feel free to suggest uh, discord servers yeah, I, I would love I would love joining any any you know any of the Discords. So just feel free to join my Discord and promote others. I don't care, and you can also uh, just join the discussions uh, here. And if you have any requests or anything, just let me know. I'll try and do that. So guys, with that, again. <laughs> super super thanks and i'll see you very soon so uh let me know in uh, in here in the community tab in the channel if there's i mean if there's anything else you want me to share uh, i mean what should i cover if you have any questions if uh, if there's you know whatever just feel free and uh, I'll see you guys very soon. So thanks. Bye-bye.